In this video, I'll be showing you the process of updating a PCM on a 1996 or newer uh, Ford vehicle. And uh, I want to show the process from start to end so that you can see. Um, most PCM reflashes, you shouldn't get charged more than a half an hour labor. For the diesel PCMs, uh, those ones you're forced to update the PCM, trans control module, and the FICM all at once. So those ones usually pay an hour. Should be no more than an hour's labor time. So we start off, we gotta connect the VCM down there. Make sure it powers up and then we plug the other side into the USB. Have the IDS software up on here. And we select this one for 99% of the cars. It'll go through and ID the vehicle. Basic questions. And then you can see down there it does a network test to see which modules are responding on the network. And then it gets validation information from them like uh, hardware numbers and software levels and all that. So it knows what's on the vehicle and what current software level they're at. After that, go into module programming. Keep in mind I'm doing this all in real time. So it goes to show you shouldn't get charged more than half an hour for a regular reflash. Check it. Hit enter, enter again, and it'll tell you there's a later update. Hit enter again. It'll look for the file on the Ford server through our Wi Fi connection here. Make sure ignition's on, it's already on. And I want you to cycle the key so it makes sure that the PCM is awake when it starts talking to it, and then it'll automatically start programming um, the PCM to the latest level. It'll do a full erase at first and then it'll put all fresh data on there, the latest calibration files. Some of the updates are um, pretty slow. That means there's a big update. Whereas this one, it's about a, a regular update. It's how fast it usually goes. But it just depends if it's going really slow. That means the update from the old software to the new one is like a huge update, kind of like when you update uh, Windows. So you got 15 updates and they're all big files and new versions of, uh, of uh, software like the Microsoft Network files, Frame Network. It's going to be big and it's going to take a while to do. This, of course, doesn't tell you all those details. It just automatically finds and puts in the latest update for you based on the current calibration file number um, it got from the PCM during a network test. And all these scan tools are, you know, connected through Wi Fi or a hardwired internet connection. So all that should be set up already, like mine was, and you just kind of go through and it'll contact the Ford server and see if there's an update or not. Now the reason I make this video is because so many new cars now 
require updates to fix just about everything it seems from uh, servo boreware to solenoid uh, boreware to shifting complaints of harsh shifts when it's cold or hot um, there's concerns where a drive shifts fine there's a hot soak for 15 minutes and um, then there's a misfire upon startup or a hard start hot and th there's there's fixes for that through the PCM updates and it's kind of it, it's kind of like uh, the way it is nowadays especially these transmissions just about anything it seems can be fixed short of a hard uh, hard part failure um, with software it's, it's absolutely amazing and now it's gonna validate the data they check to make sure it was loaded correctly that's required in some states to put the label on there it's been uh, reflash with this new calibration number and then if your technician does the job properly he will go in and clear the memory to keep the live memory and then the PCM on this one I put a throttle body on it so we're going to clear that okay there and then they should also do because it affects so many other modules is go in and clear all the other DTC's because you'll get a lot of network codes on there and that just adds a lot of extra false DTC's for the next guy that works on it for whatever concern in whichever module so they should clear all the codes out like this and this takes a little bit see it sets a lot of U codes while that's reflashing and everybody is powered up and all of a sudden they stop talking to the PCM. So I cleared them and then I'll read them one more time for you. And then if the uh, car or truck was brought in for a trans concern, uh, a, a PCM update for the trans concern, which there are many, um, they should also clear the adaptive tables that are learned um, for the trans also. It's a totally separate part of the PCM and uh, needs to be cleared manually. Okay, so we're all cleared now. Close out of this. Go over, you go into transmission, and you can clear those adaptive tables on there. That way it can learn the trans and all its friction elements with the new calibration that you just download in there, new software, and it'll learn properly from that point on out. So we're at 8 minutes and 52 seconds and I'm done.